Welcome back. I have just gone to get some water and made sure that any spare clay is covered in my wet cloth. Using my stick, I am now tracing out the door for my little dome house. You can lightly trace it first, but only cut deeply where you want to cut right through the clay. If you cut all the way around, the door will fall out. This door, we want to stay on the dome house and we want it to still be attached to the clay, just opening out. You saw me score or lightly scratch the fold line so the clay knows where to fold out. Over here, I am just gently with water massaging the edges so that they are not too sharp. Just smoothing down any sharp, rough edges on the door. Using the pointy end of the stick, you can start to scratch in some texture or some designs. Here I am putting on a wooden texture or a wooden look, some grain of wood. Doing it on the inside, um, doing it just straight along the top and the edge. And then you will see me working on the outside of the door, again adding the wiggly lines to show wood grain. The pointer stick is a great tool for adding patterns and designs freehand. Now I'm going to add a little door handle, a very small little ball of clay. I'm just going to scratch a little hole, not a full hole, but like a little dent in the door. And I'm going to just make that part of the little ball rough, dip it in some water and wiggle it into place, making sure it won't fall off. Um, you can even use the pointy end of the stick to make the little keyhole as you squish it through. Be careful not to loosen it on the door. And in double speed time here, quickly showing the handle on the inside of the door. Same procedure, same method. There we are, now we have an indoor hand, inside door handle and an outside door handle. Just going back, I notice some rough edges around the door opening, just smoothing those down with a dip of your finger in the water. Now I'm going to make a hole for the chimney on the top, just making that hole a little bit bigger and um, putting the spare clay back onto your um, extra clay on your wet mat, using again the finger dipped in water to smooth the edges out. Now we're going to start on some windows. Um, in this demonstration you will see dip, uh, three different types of windows. These are square windows with shutters, so I'm just tracing lightly on the clay where I would like my door, my window shutters to be. So thinking about what clay is staying behind and what is folding out. And now I'm pushing a bit deeper with the blunt end of my stick, it's a bit stronger. Scratching right down it until I reach the paper plate underneath. You could put openings into your shutters as well. I um, tried to put a little heart shape you can see in the shutter here. It's not that easy to do, but definitely worth a practice if you wanted to have a go. Be careful when you're pulling that shutter open that it doesn't fall off your clay. So um, feel the clay, see how far it will go, go back and smooth those edges out. And here comes the other one. And you can see that there is a mullion or a window frame in the middle between the shutters that remains part of the house. That does not come off, so be mindful of that when you're cutting your shutters. Again, using a plastic knife to wedge, gently, gently wedge that shutter open. Don't let it break off. Be very gentle. Rather push small amounts at a time and let the clay get used to being there. Right, on this side I'm working on a pointy style window. Again, just um, scratching the outline on before I go deeper. Again, I'm drawing a mullion in the center or window frame that will stay behind. And now I go deeper to get the pieces of window out to make the opening. 
smoothing around the edges of the window frame, no rough clay, taking any little crumbles away, supporting that mullion with the other finger there so that it doesn't push open and break off. So it's always better not to break it off. You can rejoin it, but it's better to try and keep it whole in the first place. Using the blade of the knife there just to smooth it out and take out any um, of my drawing. But there you can see the top still needs to be done. And on the back a circular window, but again with double lines for the mullions to make a cross, and then digging in deep for those um, quarter circles that need to come out. And this is in double time just to speed up the video a little bit. So usually you would work a bit slower than this. And again just smoothing it out. If it's a very small space, yeah, just use a smaller tool to get it out. Using the, end, the blunt end of your instruments to smooth away all the crumbs. So we have two parts of our window done. Three parts and now the last quarter coming out. Hold down that mullion, that window frame. Don't let it break out. And there you have it, all your different windows. Of course you can have the same windows all the way around or you can experiment and try different ones as well.